Hello, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Developers. I'm hosting today Alena Korzakova. Alena is a software developer working for NVIDIA, and she has an interesting personal and uh, professional story to share with us. Uh, welcome, Alena. Happy to have you as a guest today. Uh, yes, you're joining from Munich. How is yeah. the weather look like in Munich? Um, it's pretty good today. Um, I would say still winter, a bit cold, but still not raining and yeah, quite good for the winter. And, and you're good, right? Ready to start? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just to kick it off, can you share a little bit about yourself? How did you get into this position? Um, yeah, so as you mentioned, I'm um, a software developer at NVIDIA. I'm working with C and C++ mostly. Uh, and I'm working with network cards and GPUs. Um, I'm working from Munich, from Germany, but um, originally I'm Ukrainian and I worked from Ukrainian office, but um, had to relocate one year ago. Um, so um, how did it uh, all started um, with the programming and uh, uh, IT sphere? I was doing my bachelor's in international economics, but I was feeling that it's not my sphere and I was searching for um, a better um, calling for me. Um, and um, finally, I realized that I'm really uh, enjoying doing programming or like I'm interested in software engineering. Uh, and um, back then, uh, there was a great opportunity uh, from a local school in Kiev. Uh, it was programming school. It was called Unit Factory, and it worked by a franchise of School 42. Uh, and so I embarked on this uh, new path of um, IT sphere. Um, I studied really hard for some time, I don't know, like a year or more, um, very intensively. And then I started uh, to look for internship or for a job. It was like a part of my program at this unit factory school. Um, and uh, then I got my first job. It was a company called Melanox. It was an Israeli company that um, worked with network technologies. So again, it's um, it were network cards and switches. Um, so I started it. I was really enjoying what I did and um, in about one year, and um, they announced that NVIDIA acquired us. Um, so that's why, uh, that's how I got into NVIDIA. Um, so basically, I still do the same um, work that I did before. Uh, or like, let's say I'm working on the same technologies. Um, of course, the work changes from time to time. Um, yeah, but... Um, yeah. What, what do you do on a typical day, Alona? And uh, what is that you enjoy the most when it comes to working at NVIDIA? Yeah. Um, usually in the morning, we're having some small things with my manager uh, to define the priorities for the day. Um, yeah. And, and then it's mostly about coding and having meetings with my colleagues who are working on the same code with me, for example. Um, but in general, um, these days really differ from each other. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes we need to work on some new features. Sometimes we are fixing some critical bugs. Um, yeah. Thank you for sharing and for our audience to get a better feeling of, um, uh, of your work. Can you also give us some highlights uh, regarding the projects you're working on? I know that NVIDIA mm -hmm. is mostly known for GPU and for gaming, but maybe you're working on something else that um, can benefit our mm -hmm. audience. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm basically working on network technologies. Uh, so I'm working with network cards and GPUs. Um, um, GPU stands for data processing unit. Um, and um, I'm mostly involved in bringing up processes. Uh, so normally, like um, several times a year, we are issuing new cards or 
and new GPUs. And we have the full process from the very beginning when we don't really have a new chip. We have to emulate it. So um, working with simulation, I need um, to check that um, some legacy code is working and also we have some new features, new requirements. So we also work on uh, developing that. And then when we have a chip printout, we need to check that everything is working properly as expected. Um, yeah, and... Um, Aliona, you mentioned that you're using mostly C and C++ in your mm -hmm. um, daily work. What are some of the other technologies that you're using and do you have a preferred technology? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm also uh, working with Python and with uh, Bash, um, mostly for automation. Um, but if you think about some platforms or some tools that we use, so mostly just um, internal developments. So it's not something that you can find in open source. Yeah, so um, just from the scripting languages, it's um, Bash and Python. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Going back to your career, what made you um, decide to pursue a career in software engineering? Uh, what are some of the challenges maybe that you have encountered on your way? Would mm -hmm. you share this with us, please? Mm, yeah, that's a good question. Um, so basically how I decided to be a programmer, I was just searching for myself, let's say so. I just tried myself in different spheres. So back then I was doing international economics, so just uh, from the academic side. Yeah, and I felt that I need something, some, some different sphere. And I just uh, tried and then finally I decided, okay, why not try programming? And I just uh, took some course, um, just some um, with HTML and CSS. Yeah, and uh, it was really good because I could see the picture, just the product of what I did just right away. And it just felt so good as if you're creating something. And I, I saw like, I why not that. Try? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that's, I don't know, yeah. I just tried, I liked it, and I decided that I want to do it. Um, it was quite hard in the beginning. Um, because, like, when you're a new, you don't know anything, and you just start to read something, and, like, in the very first sentence, you're having, like, five more questions, and you need to Google a lot to, like, ask your friends who are in this sphere. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, but through some time, you just feel more confident in that. Good that you mentioned confidence, because it's my next question is around confidence, actually. Have you mm. ever struggled with confidence working in a male-dominant field? Um, not really. No, no. At least, like, I've worked at Milanox and then at NVIDIA, so never has this problem. You don't have to combat bias on a daily basis, and that's great. What type of employer is NVIDIA? Why, do, why did you choose them? Why did you choose to stay with them? Because apparently you didn't choose to work for them because they acquired yeah. your company. But. Yeah, like NVIDIA chose my first company, I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a, a great company um, that that is working on so much stuff that is really um, nowadays important. Um, like uh, artificial intelligence, um, supercomputing, uh, yeah, and in, in general, it's very interesting to work here. Like um, my days are really very different from day to day. It's not that I'm working on uh, the routine stuff every day. We, like all the time, we have something. And um, in most cases, it's something that you cannot Google and find on Stack Overflow. You need to invent it <laughs> just to <laughs> some small solution. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's not that uh, big solution, but some um, yeah, small projects day by day. It's really interesting. And I, I'm feeling that um, we have a really great community here and people care about each other. And it's not only because it's just the policy of the company, you just really feel it from, from people. Um, 
Yeah, I can I can imagine that this can be very motivating for everyone working in the field. How can, according to you, uh, the tech industry become more inclusive to women in tech? Um, I would say it's already inclusive. I, I don't know. I just personally didn't um, face any issues in this sphere. Um, and you mentioned about biases. Sometimes, sometimes I met that, but in a positive way. You know, like um, sometimes people uh, asking me what's my profession, and I'm saying I'm a software engineer, and they're like, "Oh, oh, cool. Uh, with what are you working? With what technologies?" And I'm saying with C, C plus plus, and they're like, "Oh, really? Like you're a woman and you're working with C? <laughs> it's uh, really impossible." I just I would imagine that uh, a woman would work. Uh, with front end with Python and with Python <laughs> with Python with front end but not C C++ and it just but it's funny you know like uh, people are surprised but in, in a good way so it's just what I meet sometimes um, but, it's uh, more encouraging versus discouraging, discouraging is what I'm so um, but I didn't have any negative um, situations with yeah bias woman in tech yeah. Do you think that women have more opportunities than men in the field? Or you think it's equal? Depends on the it's, equal. it's really equal. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Good. Good. And um, in your academic or work career so far, what, who is your best teacher? Yeah. Okay. Um, I would say I'm not having or I never had just one person, one mentor to follow. For me, it's mostly I'm treating every new person I, I, I meet uh, as someone that, that you can learn from. So just uh, different people on the way. It, it, my colleagues, it's my manager. Um, it's also, um, yeah, basically I had a mentor. I had a mentor at Nvidia. But um, yeah, it was, uh, by the way, it was like, um, um, organization inside NVIDIA, it's called, uh, it's called uh, Women in Tech, yeah, and we had a, a good program there, mentorship program, so I had a mentor basically for some one year, yeah, but it was just um, like conversations about uh, your like, current situation, where do you want to go, how will we grow there, um, yeah, but um, I would say like everyone is a teacher for me and I'm trying also to be kind of a teacher for someone else, you know. Um, it's just that you learn from other people and I'm also trying to help other people. Yeah, it's a different uh, and interesting culture that you describe now at, at NVIDIA, that everyone is a teacher and everyone can be teached. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's lovely to hear it. And when it comes to your spare time, Alona, how does it look like? What do you like to do when you do not code? Mm -hmm. uh, basically, like my my work implies that I'm uh, sitting all day long in some building. Um, I can work from office. I can work from home. The company doesn't um, doesn't tell us what to do. We can choose both. Yeah, but it's just in the building inside and in my free time, I'm just trying to be outside somewhere. I really like to be like in the nature, um, to meet my friends. Um, yeah, if it's warm, we usually go to the river here. Um, yeah. Is there any advice you would like to pass on to other women or to other young professionals uh, starting or considering a start in, uh, of a career in mm -hmm. the tech industry? Yeah, I would say you first need to have um, or to work on a bright mindset. Um, you should believe that everything is possible and uh, you can handle ideas here. It's not that scary as it may seem. And for me, it was really just to accept this idea that I can learn it like as other people do. And yeah, and also you will hear from other people that, I don't know, you don't have um, mathematical thinking or, I don't know, or you, you had um, other education and it's not possible or something like that. It just, um, 
just you need to stay confident and um, to stick to what you decided initially. Um, and um, the other thing I would say, just you need to start, you don't need to search for perfect course or I don't know, perfect book, you just need to start something and then try different methods uh, because for different people, different st stuff works good, yeah. Mm. I like what you said, you need to start, you don't need to over-engineer, basically. You just yeah. start and it will come. Yeah. Okay, thank you for sharing this with us, Alona. Just to wrap it up, is there anything you find important to be shared today with our community that, I'm, that I have not asked you about or...? Yeah, I might, might want uh, to share about um, some of the good opportunities that um, can be helpful for the people who start um, their path in IT or already good developers or not good, um, let's say, experienced developers. Yeah, I uh, have an uh, NVIDIA developers program and it's um, like very, very big um, um, online platform for uh, developers, mostly for uh, such spheres as HPC, for AI, um, deep learning, um, and um, it has a lot of uh, blogs, uh, forums, um, also um, like over 500 SDKs that, that everyone can use, uh, experiment, try. Uh, and we also have a deep learning institute. It's like the one that I worked with a lot also, uh, where you can find uh, free courses, some are free, some are not, uh, but it's a very hands-on courses. Uh, so I would really suggest to try it. For me, it was very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for uh, sharing this with our community. I do believe that it's very helpful for young and uh, also advanced professionals. And I would also encourage our community not only to visit uh, the website uh, of NVIDIA, but also to connect with um, you, Alona, so that they can get uh, more information about um, uh, how it is, how it feels uh, working at uh, NVIDIA. And I would like to thank you for joining us today uh, for this interview and helping us to bring uh, awareness to the expertise women bring to the tech industry. Thank you very yes, much. Thank you, thank you for having me.